hello everyone welcome back to my channel uh, today I come to you with an unboxing and we are going to unbox this guillotine trimmer by Westcott and this is what this trimmer looks like it is a medium-duty trimmer uh, it states on the box that it's stainless steel it has a stainless steel cutting blade it is 12 inches by 10 um, as I'm looking at the box it seems fairly light um, easy cut guillotine trimmer fairly nice looking trimmer let's look at the box in the back and so it says it has a finger rest stainless steel blade safety lock safety guard a guillotine handle of course uh, grid and measurements um, 12 inch cutting board and contemporary design for precision and performance for all your home and office crafting needs safety built-in protective rail guard front finger rest blade latch hook grid and ruler okay so we're gonna open this and see what it looks like so I've been looking for a guillotine trimmer that is 12 inches because I do have a smaller one but um, I found this one and I thought I would try it because the reviews were pretty decent and the price was not um, breaking my budget so as I'm picking this up right now it seems very very light which I like already nice looking so it's plastic which is not a problem for me um, it has a guard right here like a guide I guess it's to protect your fingers and then here there's a little latch just put it. there's a little latch right here for the handle and then it comes up so let's see where this part is because I don't see anything in the box let's bring this down okay so it's right here okay so you see this is the way the bottom looks and it, it does have like rubber little feet of whatever you want to call these so that it won't um, move around so let's put the handle on I guess this just clicks on okay pretty sturdy I mean, oh, okay, so it has, oh, so this is removable as well. So if you bring down the hand, I noticed that it will stay down, but just to make it secure, you know, if you have little children in the house, just so that they won't um, pull it up, you know, get cut, it's always good to put this little latch on. So I'm just going to bring it down for now, bring up the handle, and I see that these, this guide is removable, which is good. If you need to remove it okay so so far I like the way it looks um, I like the size of it I like that it's not too heavy I'm sorry that my space is a little small so I want to make sure that you guys see the whole thing so so far I like the look of it the style of it um, it's not heavy, it's light. I love that it has the latch for safety. I love that it has this guide that you can remove. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna test it with some paper. So what I did was I um, put together different types of papers and also I wanted to try it on fabric. So this is canvas and this is just regular cotton fabric. And I have some foam and I have some mixed media paper I have some 
this is like uh, the vellum, vellum paper, it's very thin. Uh, watercolor paper, which is very thick. Regular copy paper, and I also have a sh piece of acetate in the front. So we're gonna try to cut every single one of these papers and see how it does, because I do uh, need a trimmer where it can cut most of these papers because I am a crafter, I'm a mixed media artist. Um, so I do need a trimmer that's gonna do most of that. So let's try, let's test it out. And we're gonna first begin with the acetate, which is a very thin piece of plastic. Let's see how that does. Okay. Very nice. Let's do another piece. So, so far it cuts the acetate very nicely. The only thing I do notice as I cut the acetate, this guard over here um, has like a space in between. So let me just show you. I'm just gonna use this paper. It's not like it's, you know, touching um, the paper. Like in other words, some of the guards that you see in trimmers will let you actually press down on the paper to hold it. This one has a space in between and there's no way you can press it down to hold the paper. So there's a chance that your paper may move around and you may not get like a clean cut. That I'm not too happy about because I do have a smaller trimmer, which I'm gonna show you. I love this trimmer, but it's, uh, I think it's a nine inch. So it doesn't cut all of my size papers. Like for so this size paper is perfect. I use it a lot. But it, as you can see, this guide that it has, you can remove it as well, but let me just put this back. When you're putting the paper in, you can press. I'm just gonna cut a little piece of to keep the paper still from moving. And I like that. I thought that this guide would probably be the same way, but it's not. I mean, not that it won't work okay, but I feel like you're gonna have more trouble holding the paper down I don't know I guess we'll see I'm not too happy about that part so yes this one I've had for a very long time and this is a tonic trimmer is nine inch okay so let's try with this paper this is the mixed media paper so you see I have to hold it with my Very nice cut. Let's try another piece. Okay, so it does hold the paper pretty still as long as you're putting, as long as you hold it this way. So that's, this is the mixed media paper. That was good. Um, we're gonna do the fabric the last in the foam. So this is the very light uh, vellum paper. Okay, nice clean cut. Okay, so there you go. And I'm gonna put it right, align it to that grid right there so you can see that it's very straight. Okay. Next paper is just regular copy paper. And that's perfect. Oh, very nice. That's the copy paper. Now we're going to try the watercolor, which is a lot thicker. Okay, that's a good job on that one too. Nice and straight. Okay. Okay. 
that's watercolor paper and this one is 300 so now we're gonna try a piece of foam this is the very thin foam like butter see that That's the foam. That's craft foam. And then now we're gonna try the canvas. This is a fairly thick piece of canvas. I'm hoping that it does cut through it. Okay, so this is getting a little. Okay, so it cuts some of it, but for some reason this bent and it's not cutting through it. I'm gonna try it again. Hmm. Okay, so I realized, I noticed that it does cut. For some reason the blade in the beginning is very sharp so it will cut through it. But when it's coming towards the middle of the blade, it's not cutting it. So I just want to try something. I'm gonna cut these parts off. And I'm just gonna try to trim it with the other side of the blade and see if that works. Maybe start here or in the middle. Let's see. Okay, so I noticed in the middle it will not cut at all. So um, it does say in the box that this uh, trimmer is mainly for paper photos and cardstock so i knew that i just wanted to try and see if it would cut canvas or fabric i'm going to try the fabric now the cotton fabric but i just want to show you my little guillotine here does cut fabric so let me see I do have to play it, you know, do it a few times, but it does cut it. So, that's a little disappointing, but then again, it does say on the box that it's for photos, cardstock, and paper, so that's okay. So let's try the thin fabric. This is uh, cotton fabric. See if it does a little bit for this one. So this one does the same thing. It cuts the beginning, but it won't finish cutting. So I'm wondering if maybe the blade is sharper on one side than the other. That's a possibility. Okay, so that's, a, that's fine. Let me try one more time. Okay, so if you're looking for a trimmer that um, cuts fabric, this is not the one for you. If you're looking for a trimmer just to craft and do and cut papers and cardstock and all that stuff, then this is a decent trimmer. So I guess I would still have to search and see if I can find a trimmer that does that. Um, I will continue searching. Um, if you guys know of any trimmer that is not uh, too expensive but it decent enough to cut fabric and canvas if you could send me a comment down below I would appreciate it and so this is the Westcott guillotine trimmer uh, it is the Westcott easy cut guillotine trimmer it is 12 by 10 inches um, it says medium duty so it did say that on the box um, that it would only cut cardstock paper and like crafting papers. It does cut the foam at least. So yeah, it's fairly decent. Um, I'm gonna link this product down below. Um, I think it was $23 if I'm not mistaken, but I will link it down below so you can check it out and check out the price. I will say that it does have a ruler here. See that? 
and it does have a ruler up here which is always good for crafters who work on junk journals and make books and need certain measurements for their projects that's good so um it's fairly decent trimmer i love that it's lightweight i love the style of it. it's very nice looking and so let me know what you guys think okay and send me a comment down below again this is not a sponsored video i bought this trimmer with my own money most of my videos that you see on this channel um i purchased everything with my money so let me know what you think if there's another trimmer out there that you would like to see reviewed or unboxed let me know and if i can purchase it i will um so guys let me know what you guys think thank you so much for watching and spending time with me um stay tuned for more videos and i will see you next time take care bye bye Thank you.